Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we are having an update for another browser this week, Firefox, also getting to version 111. I guess uh, even though it's a different uh, engine, they want to make sure that they can match the version number to make sure that, I don't know, you understand that it's as modern as the others. So anyways, um, apart from the numbering that follows the uh, Edge and Chrome uh, updates, the um, browser itself has a few little things that they've added in this new version. Uh, one thing that they're showing us in version 111 is the uh, they're talking about the ability to edit PDFs in Firefox and that you don't need anything else. So you can actually create, edit uh, PDFs in the browser without switching to another app or program, as they say here. So this is kind of interesting. Um, the other thing also is that in this um, version, there is now a notification system that uses the Microsoft Windows 10 and 11 notifications here. So here is where you get all the notifications. And uh, basically what happens is that before, if there was a notification or something that Firefox wanted to tell you, it would actually do a little pop-up within the browser itself. But now it will be within the notification system of Windows. So that's one of the major changes for this version uh, right now. Uh, so pretty much, um, all that we uh, can say about this new version 111, which uh, now just gives native support. For the rest, well, there's 13 security updates. So if you are uh, at least want to stay secure and you are using Firefox, update it at least for that. There's a lot of high severity security flaws. So simply go to the upper right corner in the hamburger menu, go into help, and go into about Firefox, and you will be at 111.0. Um, this, of course, like I said, fixes 13 security flaws. Uh, there's a full screen notification that has a problem um, that could have been hidden by download pop-ups. Uh, this is on Android. Uh, there are some potential service worker cache leak in private browsing mode. Uh, there's a incorrect code generation uh, during the um, Java engine within the browser. Redirect to web extension files may have leaked local path, so where it comes from, basically. Uh, URL being dragged from a removed cross-origin iframe into the same tab triggers navigation. Uh, One-time permission granted to a local file were extended to other, other files, so you don't want that. You want it only on the file that you... Uh, that you uh, actually are working on. Potential out of bounds when accessing throttle streams. A few other things like that. Windows save as dialogue resolve environment variable. Memory safety bugs also that are uh, fixed here. So um, the reason these are all fixed is because every time there's a flaw, every time something crashes, every time something doesn't behave well, it's a potential risk of you know getting something that could, or using it as a way of infecting your machine with malware, ransomware, and so on. So if you're using Firefox, uh, if you don't really care about the new features, at least for security purposes, uh, get your Firefox 111, which is now available today, March 15th, 2023. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.